Great to have you along on this Wednesday. I'm meteorologist Matt Scott. Forecast looking pretty cold now that we got the rain and a little bit of snow out of the way last night. Not a big deal. I'll show you the snow numbers in just a second. Staying cold for the next couple days, as a matter of fact, all the way through the holiday. Uh, more on that with the seven day coming up. How do we do snow wise as expected? Staying up in the uh, Litchfield Hills as expected, staying between an inch, not quite to two inches, right on target. Uh, 1.8 in Kent. Uh, inch and a half in Staffordsville, an inch in Summers, as expected. We weren't looking for much. We're also not looking for much in terms of the cold. 52 where we need to be. Look at the highs. Next couple of days actually sliding a bit before hopefully rebounding next week in anticipation of Thanksgiving. The radar is finally quiet after a busy evening, at least in terms of the first time this season that we're seeing some flakes, a little bit of snow for northwestern parts of the state, changing quickly over to rain surface temperatures. Not an issue last night. So we dry out over the next couple of days. There's just not a lot to show you. We'll ring out the clouds, maybe get a little sunshine in there before the sun sets at around 4.30 this afternoon. If you do get sun, count yourself lucky. If not, the skies continue to clear. There will be more in the way of sunshine over the next couple of days. Overnight, going to get cold down to the low 30s. Sun and clouds for tomorrow. Temperatures, as I showed you a moment ago, struggling with a reinforcing shot of some cold air coming in. Not looking for any precip. However, off towards the west, we're going to watch uh, western New York, the Finger Lakes region from Buffalo to Niagara. The lake effect snow machine getting turned turned on and it could be a very snowy weekend for them, not for us. Chances of rain for us on the DL for the next couple of days, single digits. Let's take a spin around the state. Here's what we're looking for. Low 50s at the shoreline, a little better. Look at this Mystic and Stonington. Mild air uh, holding on for just a little bit, but that cold air wrapping around the system, upper 40s in Pomfret and Killingly, 49 the high in Hartford, Granby, uh, Meriden as well, and then the low to mid 40s up in the northwestern hills. Here's your seven day forecast temperatures down to 31 tonight and then look at the numbers sliding 47 44 42 for Saturday. Look at Sunday's high only at 38 degrees even with a dry streak numbers do rebound. If you're getting an early jump on the holiday next week at least travel wise in New England we're not looking for many issues. Uh, with that lake effect snow notwithstanding. That is a look at a forecast on this Wednesday. Make it a great one, and we'll see you back here with an update at 5 and 6 o'clock.